This is Soph. This is Rich. And we are from across the, the pond. pond. Why do I look so shiny today, man? Is this light? That's beautiful. That's all. You're radiant. Whoop, whoop. How was your weekend? Glowing. My weekend was very good. I watched the final four March Madness uh, basketball. Okay. Did your team win? Nope. We got spanked. Whoop. We couldn't stop the three-point shot to save our lives. And if anybody doesn't know, I'm a Villanova fan, which is a Philadelphia Villanova college. Yeah. And they played Kansas. And Kansas was just dropping threes like it was like it was going out but of style. Kansas is from where Dorothy's from, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you had Duke versus North Carolina Tar Heels. And who Duke think, lost. Who thinks of these names, man? I don't know, but it's college. It was a good, they were, it, they were two good games. The yawns here, ATP yawn. The ATP yawn. Did you do In anything effect. other than watch sport? I drank some alcohol. <laughs> well, I mean, this is you and it is the weekend, so that's a given, right? Well, no, not necessarily, but this weekend, yes. And then I had, oh, I meant to take a picture of this pizza that my friend ordered. It was called The Works. Yeah. Have you ever had broccoli on your pizza? Oh, no, I don't eat broccoli on its own. Never mind on a pizza. Man, that pizza was on fire. It had just about anything you want. It had olives on it, bacon. Oh, it was just, it was Okay, delight. can I just say, you're going to think I'm chucking you under the bus, but I'm not. I'm just being honest. I always say to you, please take try and take a picture, a picture of what you're having so that I can then take pictures of him. We can compare it. Every day you say the same to me. Oh, I eaten this, but I forgot to take a picture. Oh, I ate it first. Yeah, I, I can't help it. Like when I'm eating. Well, that's the same thing as I want to chuck you under the bus. But I remember me taking a picture of the mailbox. It took forever for you to post it. Okay. Now, let me just say, you know, the only, you know, the only thing, and you're going to say I haven't posted it yet because I haven't, but the only food related thing that you've actually taken a picture of is eggs in the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> That's not necessarily true. When I wasn't working, I was taking a picture of my breakfast. Right. But I mean... You just moaned at mine. I had toast and coffee and you were like, what is that? You know, <laughs> right, uh. and then you have the same thing for breakfast. French toast with sausage eggs with cheese on. Well, yeah, you never mix that it is up. True. That is true. Anyway, so basically your week. I look good. Your weekend consisted of alcohol and sport. Yes. Wow. A man's favorite pastime. <laughs> My weekend was actually jam-packed, like, from start to finish. Show on Friday, straight to sleep, got up early in the morning at five, went to work, come back, did have a little sleep. Then got up, went for dinner with the dude on Saturday night. We went and played bingo. Whoop, whoop. We didn't win, unfortunately. We didn't win. But we had a good time. We went to Nando's, had some chicken. Um, and then straight back home to bed this morning again, up at five, off to work, then straight in the car, up the motorway, highway, whatever you want to call it, uh, to a photo shoot. Um, I had a location shoot, so it was in some wooded like park. Um, and it was a music artist who came with his guitar and everything. Um, Mm. I know, and people were stopping to listen because I was saying, oh, can you just, you know, like, even pretend you're playing, even if you don't want to play? Mm, you started, mm, 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 mm. everyone was listening. <laughs> we had a great time. Um, yeah, you had a better time. You had a better weekend in mind. Then I went, I haven't finished yet. It's, I told you it's been jam-packed. Then I went and had some lunch with Fiona, which... I hope she's not too full because we had lunch, like late lunch. And then when we when I dropped her off home, I stayed for a coffee. But uh, 
her husband was in the middle of cooking a dinner. So literally she's going to have to eat lunch and then another one, like literally straight after. And she was saying, I'm not telling him, I'm not telling him that we went for lunch because he's cooking the dinner. (laughs) So, yeah. And then, yeah, yeah, whoop, straight back home, back for the show. I want, I'm going to ask you one question. Go. How are you feeling today? Oh my god, talk about on cue. <laughs> I've still got my cough. <coughs> I've still got my cough. Other than that, I feel a lot better. I just can't get better. rid of this cough. Yeah, I just can't get rid of this cough. Oh, okay. Well, as long as you're feeling better, you're getting better. Can I just can I just say before I ask you something? All I can see surrounding me on this desk is packets of porkless pig rinds. Yeah, I just put mine in a bag. <laughs> Because I, 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 I said that I was going to do a TikTok and I, I haven't got yeah. around to it. Mate, I haven't had time to do anything yet. Um, How are you feeling? I feel great. I mean, um, the weather has been shite here, but other than that, oh, I no. feel great. ATP Yawn has made it across the water. Um, Yeah, the it, it hasn't rained here. And actually, I, I was glad the weather held off today because on the way, well, we we're supposed to be forecast more snow. And then on the way to the shoot, my mum called me and she was like, oh, I hope it doesn't rain today. And I was like, why would you say that? Like, stop jinxing it. Nothing's going to come out of the sky. So it didn't, luckily. It didn't? <coughs> no, it didn't. But going back to what you just said, I'm also going to do a TikTok with these things, these these uh, flavored polystyrene flakes, pigless pork rinds. Yeah, right. Back to today, serious Sunday, and it is a continuation of the slap. Will the Smith, slap heard around the world. Will Smith versus Chris Rock with Jada Pinkett in the in the mix. Right. Um, and also, for the first time ever, we had a guest on a Friday show, and he's managed to make it back into the Sunday show. And he's already messaged today to say how excited he is about coming back and that he can't wait. <laughs> I mean, I just love it that people want to be on our show. We've still got yeah, because we got some, we got some, <laughs> we got some guests lined up. I do believe, right? Pete, there's one particular guest. I'm not going to say who it is. But they keep messaging me saying, can we sort a date? Because I'm so excited about coming <laughs> on. <laughs> Who knew? ATP. Yeah, people would be lining up to be on our show. Queuing up, right? Queuing up. Yes. But um, yes. In, in, in other news, quickly, while we wait for Jay Reese, uh, my dad watched Friday's show when you said could you have one of these wristbands he said one is in this one is in the post so as soon as i receive it i'll ship it to you oh he's here just got that little i just got that little bit in in time connecting 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 what is up my peeps are we what is up what is up what is up you have bought the energy. You do, you do realize it's oh, serious Sunday, right? I forgot to tell you something. I'm glad both of you guys are on the sh- I'm glad both of you guys are here. What did you want to tell what's us? Up? Yeah, what's up? I finally got down to that bookstore. <gasps> what did they say? And I talked to the one gentleman that was actually working there. He gave yeah. all my information to the owner. The owner received it, but he Jeez. said that uh, yesterday was, well, yeah, yesterday was uh, one of his kind of like don't do nothing days. So I should be mm. hearing something within the week. But then yeah. he also said that they host a poetry night every f- last Friday of the month. Well, we know where to find you the last Friday of next month. Now, right? look, we, I just got to apologise to everybody that's watching us because they obviously haven't got an absolute clue what you're talking about, Rich, because you've bought 
our, <laughs> our monthly business meeting into the show. So I'm Couldn't so... Help it. I was excited. I know, and we're so pleased for you. But if anyone doesn't mm. know, just watch this space. When it goes down, we'll fill you in. <clears throat> so Word. we was just saying that we're going... This is a continuation of the mm. Will Smith, Chris Rock, Jada Pinkett triangle... And I've just got to say this to you, Pear, and I'm addressing this to the nation, in fact, to the world. After this show, I do not want to talk about this anymore. Like, it will be done. So, so I, have to, I have to tell you guys. So, um, so I have several sisters, and one of my sisters texts me because uh, she's like, we're very, like, close, and she's always wondering what I'm doing. And I was like, oh, I have some friends who have a podcast, I was on it. Um, hopefully you'll give it a listen. And she was like, oh, what are you talking about? I'm like, well, we talked about Will Smith and the Chris Rock thing, and then we're gonna talk about it again on Sunday. And she's like, oh, I'm so gonna listen to it, but I gotta tell you, I'm a little burnt out. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> talking about it. And I was like, I feel you, I understand that completely. Yeah, we, I mean, we only planned to have it on one show, but then obviously after our meeting with you, you joined us on Friday. And, and then we just enrolled it over. So right. everybody has asked, what's my opinion? You know, what do I think about it? And I mm -hmm. saw someone, I don't know who she is, but someone wrote something on Facebook. And I thought to myself, do you know what? She's absolutely nailed it, right? So I want to read it to you, okay? Mm. Go for it. It says... As one of the biggest Will Smith fans in the world, it's a shame to witness this amazing talent slowly lose his emotional state over a toxic woman he calls his wife. The joke was distasteful, but not worthy of a, um, the show that he made. Chris Rock was a, being a comedian. That was all. If anyone thinks the slap was a form of protecting his wife, you are delusional as that fake apology. You, was a, you are as delusional as the fake apology he gave when he won an Oscar. The real insult comes from his wife's entanglement, which she paraded on her show for ratings. She has constantly put this man down over and over and continues to speak about her amazing friendship with Tupac. Even to this day, she even recently released a letter he gave her when they dated. The world usually points a finger at these toxic men who bring women down on a daily basis. Why don't we speak enough about toxic women who do the same? Jada is the definition of what marrying the wrong person can do to your life. What once was a private marriage has been exposed. Once this toxic ass woman decided the only way she wasn't going to be seen as just Will Smith's wife was to tell the world every single detail about their marriage. Before the red table talk, we knew nothing about this couple. Her jealousy over his fame clearly speaks volumes. The slap wasn't a form of protection, as you can even see Will laughing at the joke when it was said. He was also shown crying when they went to a commercial break, being consoled by fellow actors. A man of his calibre is not crying about pulling this act. His speech and his actions are one of a broken man at this stage in his life. What should have been one of the greatest days of his life has been ruined by her. Mental health is worth so much more than fame. Find the right partner that can match your mental health and keep it at a healthy level. The slap was a man carrying emotional baggage for years due to a woman who is totally in control of his emotions. Ooh. Wow. <gasps> that was a lot. Now, mm, I can't yeah. say I don't agree with that, to be fair. Mm -hmm. Like, they were quite a private couple up yeah. until the point that she got this red table talk show Mm -hmm. and decided let's do an episode where we sit him down and I basically tell him I had an affair with some guy. Um, she talked I, about their sex mm -hmm. life and everything. <laughs> right? I yeah. feel like the slap was way more than a joke about mm -hmm. her hair. It, oh, yeah. Definitely. It was about some emotional stuff that he's got going inside that he hasn't dealt with. Mm -hmm. And I don't see either of you two disagreeing. <laughs> <laughs> well, the topic at hand is mm -hmm. do you think 
Jada should be apologizing as well. What should apologize for? Yeah, well, yeah, in effect, at that moment at the Oscars, she didn't, apart from giving Will Smith the eye as if to say, what are you going to do about it, which she could deny, she didn't actually at that moment per se do anything. But no one yeah. has a, a actual angle of mm -hmm. what she did for him to get up there and slap Chris Rock. Now, mm -hmm. yesterday, I was hanging out with my fellows. We were watching March Madness Final mm -hmm. Four. And I brought up the discussion of the slap hurt around the world. Uh-oh. And... I asked them, I told them, I said, man, we had a great show because the one guy follows us on, on, on the show. And he was like, oh, man, it was a great show. Yada, yada. And I said, well, we got a part two coming. And now that I got you guys here and I was saying to them, I was like, well, do you think Jada should have some form of apology? And this is what I got from two guys. Mm. I couldn't get a woman's perspective, but I got two guys' perspective. And they said, she, the only person she should be apologizing to is Will Smith. Correct. Her husband. Mm. Because, like I said, no one's really saw the angle from of which mm -hmm. she gave him the side eye or rolled her eyes or whatever. No one's really <laughs> got that Sorry. angle to see them both in that caption of her giving him the eye and him like looking at her and then getting up and, you know, right. we don't have that. Mm -hmm. but, but they said that she owes her husband an apology. I totally agree with that. And also, mm -hmm. do you think, given the talk show that she's got and things that she's done in previously up to now, like everyone saying, oh, he was sticking up for his wife. Does she look like the sort of woman that needs to be stuck up for? Well, also, we, also we discussed that. And, mm -hmm. you know, our culture is what goes on at home stays at stays home. Stays at home. But she was the one that brought it to the <laughs> table initially. Saying? She was the one that brought it to the table, to the public, to the world so initially. So I, I think the thing that always, that keeps bothering me about this is that Will Smith is a grown ass man, right? So don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not saying Jada didn't influence him to do this, to make the slap or something like that. But everyone's making it seem like she is the puppet master and Will is just sitting there on strings dancing around. You know what I'm saying? Like, everyone's making it seem like Jada has so much power over him that she's making him do all this stuff. We don't know what's going on behind closed doors. And honestly, I never really thought about her apologizing, but now that I'm thinking about it, it would be nice if she or her publicist came out with some kind of statement with her opinion of the issue. Maybe not an apology, but her thoughts on what's happened. Her I, mean, side. I mean, like yeah, we said, like we said on Friday, we're still waiting mm -hmm. for Chris Rock's side of the story. You know, he <laughs> decided to stay totally quiet. And, well, and it's smart. That's he smart did, though. He <coughs> did speak at his concert. Yeah, and, and, said, he's not he's still and said, it. I'm not, yeah. yeah, I'm still processing what happened. I'm not gonna talk about it yet. Yeah. Um his brother, on the other hand, said some harsh words. About him or about, about him? About Will Smith. I mean, some harsh you words. Now, the reason I think... <laughs> on his it, comedy setup. The, the, the reason I think it's a serious mm -hmm. issue is because, like, mental health is a big thing, right? As we yep. definitely know on this show. Mm -hmm. um, and especially men's mental health doesn't yeah. seem to be discussed as much as a woman's mm -hmm. per se so right. when you look back at these famous people like mm -hmm. kanye west for example lost mm -hmm. his appeared to lose his thing and go crazy everyone said he was crazy tyrese went on his social media and broke down crying because he was unable or wasn't allowed to see his daughter everyone said yeah. he was crazy what did he do that for Will Smith's gone and now broke down on telly after slapping some guy for taking the mickey out of her. Nobody <laughs> wants to look at the deeper rooted issue. Do you know what I mean? Well, because like in, in all in the world, if a man shows emotions 
in the wrong atmosphere at the wrong time. And I know it's similar for women, but particularly for men, if they show weakness or they show that they care, crying, whatever the case may be, yeah, you get made fun of, you get ridiculed. It's not masculine. It's not macho. So this is whole, yeah. there's no safe place for us usually to go <laughs> to express ourselves emotionally. But Will Smith's done both in the sa- in the space of like 10 minutes. He's got up and slapped a guy for saying something about his wife. So he's the man. Yeah. 10 minutes later, he's crying, saying, I'm sorry I did that. And after that, an hour after that, they already had remixes dubstep into his audio. You know what I'm saying? Even All over TikTok. After, an hour after that, you see him and Jada or whatever laughing and joking yeah. and, you know. And partying. Exactly. See, this is my so thing. literally every emotion that you can think of, that man did it all in like one night. So, <laughs> well, I do believe, and I do think that Jada is is holding the strings. <laughs> I, I, I totally agree. I do believe she yeah. does. She does dangle the carrot in front of in front of in front of Will. He is what we, I, I don't he, think that's he it. Is I, what, he is what we'd call over here under the thumb. I really, I really think those two are masters at formulating their stories. Even when the script is un, is real or unwritten, like what's the word I'm looking for? Even though when the script is like not written yet, when something happens, they are masters at just controlling what goes on. I mean, look at the, both their careers. She came out of nowhere with Red Table Talk that just blew up on Facebook of all places. Mm -hmm. And then Will, he can stay out of movies for decades, come back and just, his movies are number one again. You know what I'm saying? Like his social media present right now, like every time he dropped a TikTok, a a video on Instagram, it was getting millions. Well, I mean, he even even appeared on one of our TikToks. He literally walked through a door and said, yo, follow these people. And then our right thing appeared right so he, right exactly he so if you're smart you'll do what will says and follow all of us but i digress yeah but i i look at it like this like mm-hmm. um words of dl hughley mm-hmm. when you put yourself on a platform you give yourself you give right. people the the club to beat yourself with <laughs> and that's what i think yeah. that he's that they have done. I think that Red Table Talk, mm-hmm. you know, it's different when you have certain topics because sometimes she has certain topics on there and it and it's good. I haven't like yeah. subscribed or anything, but I've mm-hmm. I've listened to some of the stuff when she has her mom on there or Willow on there. Or, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But then when you have to take it to the extent of putting your personal business out there. That's where that's where it crosses the line, right. and I think she crossed the line too few too many times, and Will did not correct it. He okay. just jumped on the what bandwagon. What do you think she did it for then? Ratings, viewings, <coughs> what? I think like like he said, they're the masters of you know getting people to watch them getting people to, you know, talk about them to the point to where, like, I think she used it as, and my thing is, again, she's holding the strings because if any other man I think would have something to say if you put our personal bedroom business on national television or televised or national podcast, I would have something to say. Okay, so let me ask you two in turn. I'm going to let Jay Reese answer first because he's a guest. Plus, I've just seen his mug, which I'm a fan of. So if you were in that situation, given all of the what you know, she she's basically throwing you under the bus on the red table by saying about an affair, the Alec mm-hmm. Michigan, what would you have done? So if, let me make sure I understand the question. So if we're at the Oscars, Jade is my wife. I'm sitting there and Chris Rock makes a joke about her. What would I do in that moment? Yeah, exactly the same, exactly the same scenario. And but you're Will Smith. What would you have done? Well, if I was well, if I was Will Smith, devil's advocate, I would probably would have did the same thing. But if I was me in that situation doing that and Jada was my wife, <laughs> um I don't think 
oh, it's, it's hard to say because I don't think I would have slapped Chris because that's not my nature. It's, it's, it's hard to answer the question that way because again, my nature, I don't think I would have slapped Chris because as we said before on Friday, it was a joke. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what Chris is supposed to do. He's a joke teller. Okay, Which so brings what, me to another question I'll ask later. Would you have just laughed at the joke then? Or I don't think I would have laughed. Like there's a video would've. of Wills laughing, but me personally, if like assuming that this bothers Jada and I knew it bothered Jada, I wouldn't have laughed. I wouldn't have went up and slapped him, but I would have been there like would particularly have, already knowing the history that they have. Would you have pulled I, into the side afterwards and said something, or would you not have said anything? Exactly. Before? It would it would have been a behind the scenes, closed door conversations like, hey, Chris, yo, you always joking at Jada, yo, this gotta stop. Which there's audio that supposedly Will is ranting that he said that to Chris previously before. So maybe that's a part of it too. But personally, I don't think I would have went up and slapped him, but in the heat of the moment, I don't know, it's hard to say. Rich, what would you have done? I'd have laughed at the joke. Cause you got to understand, Will knew that that night was his night. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to let nothing mess up my night. Right. And then you got to understand, jokes are never censored. hmm Okay? And my thing is, be a man about it. Take it on the chin. If you're sitting up in the front row anyway, yeah. you know most comedians target the first Mm-hmm. first couple mm-hmm. people and my thought was is that they were getting joked on all night mm-hmm. because it was will smith's night everybody well, see, knew he was I, gonna get that ass well, say i like so if you don't mind me asking a question real quick because i because like something you had said before when we were talking i kept thinking about like comedians are paid to tell jokes that's what they do right Mm -hmm. and i get it that is a tough industry i don't think any of you guys will ever see me trying to be a comedian i would never try to do and i appreciate what they do i love Chappelle. i love um bernie mag richard Pryor. all like i love comedy Mm -hmm. but one of the things that always is on my mind how do you know when a joke goes too far because like we keep arguing that it was just a joke right Mm -hmm. And mm-hmm. you need to have tough skin. You know you're there. You know you're going to get clowned. And I understand that and I get that logically. But if you're sitting there and someone says something that bothers you, whether you laugh at it or not at first, because we've all been in those situations where somebody might say something and you're like, oh, ha, ha. And then you start thinking about it. And you're like, wait a minute. You know? So, again, I'm not saying his, sla- his Will slapping Chris was right. But I tend to wonder, when is it too far? When can a comedian go too far? But I right. personally you know think it's it's on, I, per, it's on a, it's on somebody's personal how they personally take it and interpret it because when you start to make a joke about someone's personal appearance and about them mm-hmm. personally, yeah, it, it all depends. I might be able to take it and just laugh it off and give back as good as I get. Whereas right. you might just start crying because it's hurt your feelings. Whereas Rich might decide to get up and punch the person. It, mm-hmm. it, I think if you're going to make a joke about someone's personal appearance, you should know that person to then try and have some sort of insight to how it's going to be received. Um, Agree. Because the bless is totally a bit off subject, but look at... Mm-hmm. Um, You've, you've all seen uh, The Nutty Professor, right? When they go right, to that yeah. comedy show. And that guy literally rinses uh-huh. it, like rinses the guy. Right. Um, whether it gets that personal and that bad in a real life comedy show, I don't know. I've never been, you know. Yeah. Um, True. But my thing is, I don't think the joke went too far. But see, you don't, because personally, it didn't attack you. But for yeah. some reason, it personally attacked Will. I know that a lot. Because he said, my thing is, he said, I love you, Jada. Can't wait to see G.I. Jane 2. Looking forward to it. And that was right. it. It wasn't uh-huh. like a, okay. a, a malicious. And Regina Hall was one of the hosts. Mm-hmm. And she cut on both of them and talked about their open marriage. Yeah. On that on TV. See what I'm saying? He didn't get up and slap okay. her. Okay, I'm just gonna pipe this bit in because I'm the only female in the room. But 
<laughs> I know for a lot of women, hair yeah. is a big thing. Do you know what I mean? Right. If uh-huh. women lose their hair, sometimes. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I'm not saying this is the case for Jada, right? Because she right. can stick up for herself, as we've seen, you know, uh-huh. and she's said some other stuff. But take Jada out of the equation. A lot of mm-hmm. women, when they lose their hair, sometimes feel like they've lost their identity. And especially if they've lost it through illness. Yeah, um, I agree. Whether she does feel like that or not, I don't personally know her. Um, but maybe he touched a bit of a raw nerve. I don't know. The only thing Whoa. I will say is, I'm not saying she has or hasn't. Oh God, here I go chucking myself under the bus. I'm not saying she has or hasn't got alopecia, but yeah. number one, let me just say, she looks beautiful either way, bald head and no yeah. bald head. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can see that she's got hair follicles there, and they're perfect, literally all over her head. It ain't patchy. Like mm-hmm. it's not like she's got a bald patch there and then hair follicles everywhere else. She's got like this. She's got like this scar. Now, previously, mm-hmm. weeks prior to the Oscars, yeah, she talks about her hair loss, yeah, and how she has yeah. alopecia, mm-hmm. and she went on to say that, oh, she doesn't care what people think or say oh, about hey, my head. Mm-hmm. So therefore, there was no need for her to give Will the signal to go up there and. But then again, her. that links to it. That also I've heard, and I mentioned on Friday, that mm-hmm. obviously people are saying she had an entanglement with this guy. She keeps going on about her thing with Tupac. I've also heard that Chris Rock and Jada had a thing at one point. So mm-hmm. if that were to be the case, maybe that's why she took a more of offence to it because they had a thing and possibly but again like everyone is assuming that that jada gave will some mysterious nod or look and he was like okay baby i'll go take care of it and it's not chris you know like and like no one is sitting here saying like what if it actually was just simply will started internalizing what chris said (laughs) got mad and went up and slapped him it could be as simple as that everyone keeps putting that's a split second to change your reaction because he tells the joke the camera's on right. Will Smith, who's laughing. The right. camera, then you see Jada, who's like, yeah. oh, God. She's right. Like, Next but minute, also, like, but even on Friday, you had said, Friday, you had said, and after you said it on Friday, I actually saw it. There's a video that seems like Jada Jada's actually love. was laughing at the joke <laughs> uh-huh. at first. Mm-hmm. Right? So we all know with camera angles and timing, all that video is delayed. It easily, they both easily could have laughed, thought about it for a second. It was like, oh, wait a minute. No, this ain't going to fly. Mm-hmm. You know, like, so, and again, I'm, I'm really trying not to defend Will and Jada. I'm really not because Will was wrong for slapping Chris. Let me say that. Yeah. But there is this weird thing where everyone's trying to make it seem like one, Jada made him do it. And two, they're acting like Chris isn't at fault. Yes, I get that he's a comedian and he said a joke that in truth is probably harmless. However, you can't inter- you can't you can't say how somebody else interprets a joke, particularly when that joke is personally aimed at somebody. Okay, I've got another question for you, Pear, because I also had a conversation today with my friend Uh-oh. Corona, Uh-oh. and she seems to think mm-hmm. two points. Okay, one, Will Smith would not have have slapped the person if it was a, a a white a white comedian because Ricky Gervais usually does the Oscars right English guy who was in the office and he's even yeah. said his reply to it was I would have said I would have made a joke about the entanglement and I would have said much worse than that also yeah. she says she doesn't think if it was any other I don't know if it's to do with potentially uh Chris Rock and Jada being in some mm-hmm. sort of thing. She yes. also said she doesn't think he would have done it if it was any other comedian. Say it was Kevin Hart. She doesn't think he would yeah. go up there and slap him. Do you two think he would have done it if it was anybody else? Personally, I really don't think he would have did it if it was somebody else. Okay. Me neither. I really don't. Why do, why do we think, think he, he was because it was him then? Because there's supposedly something going on because between Because he played wife? Pookie. <laughs> <laughs> he played Pookie. <laughs> I think he just knew he could go there. Oh, you know, well, Chris Rock's almost 60 years old. 
yeah, that in fact, Chris and Will have a history of like, they do have a friendship. Like they're, yeah. they're both entertainers. They run in similar circles. So like, I'm not going to say they're boys, but like they have this kinship amongst them. So they know each other. Plus Chris, I th- again, I think we said this on Friday, Chris has been throwing jabs at Jada for years. And as you guys were saying, with everything else that's going on emotionally, Will might have been a little bit off. But there was something about that night, that moment. I mean, I even heard, because Will is a method actor. And it sometimes it takes him a long time to get out of those roles. I haven't had the opportunity yet to, to see um, King Richard. But that yeah, character know. is a very um, I watched assertive man let's put it that way and he doesn't take no no stuff so maybe that's what it was i don't know but either well, way if it was somebody I, else i think I tell you did it. out of everybody who i feel sorry for the most and that is everybody who won an oscar on that night because no matter who you speak to about that night all they yeah. talk about is the slap you could ask mm-hmm. who won best this who won best that who know yeah. i don't know who won nothing yeah, All it I definitely over, it Will definitely Smith overshadowed the night. Won an Oscar after he straight after slapped, he slapped Matty around the face. Slapped the shiggity out of yeah. Chris I was actually in a conversation about the Oscars, and of course, you know, at first you talk about the slap, and then like, oh, by the way, did you hear what Lady Gaga did? And I'm like, well, no, I didn't. And apparently, oh, Lady Liza Gaga Minnelli? and Liza Minnelli was up there, and it was a sweet, tender moment, and you can hear her whispering in because she had the mic on and stuff like that. So I was like, there's all these moments that we got to we missed because everybody because- was. Sorry yeah. to interrupt you. I think because Liza Minnelli had stuff written down on cards and she got them mixed up in the right. order. So Lady Gaga helped mm-hmm. her and said, don't worry, I got mm-hmm. you. And she said, I know you have, you know. Exactly, right. So, but there's little moments like that. The Denzel, the Denzel and Samuel Jackson moment. Denzel's presenting um, an award to to Samuel. And that was to, like, there's so many different things in the night that we but missed. But do you know what everyone remembers slap. from that night about Denzel? What he said to Will Smith after the slap. Exactly. 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 So, uh, it takes years to build your reputation and just takes a moment and he's to make it come down. Yeah. Because now they have several films that are on hold for Will Smith. They, they really? Have, yeah. Really? Interesting. Uh, he had just got the script to Bad Boys 4. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Oh, please Oscars. don't do another they, one. They got that on hold. Why do I hate it? I like three. I like one. I like three. I, I like, like two I so much. don't get it twisted. I liked it as well, but it's going to go. Yeah. It's going to be another Fast and Furious where it's going to go too far. Lock it off now. You've done a reunion. You've had a good one. Shelve it. Okay. No, we need what well, we need one where Mike Larry retires. We need one where Mike Larry retires. That's what we need. Then walking off into the Sunday, the, the, in the into the sunset. Yeah. Well, after the Oscars, it ain't going to be for a little while. So let me and ask you. Has, uh, <laughs> Netflix, has, Netflix has halted his movie Fast and Loose, which is supposed to be an action thriller. And they halted that because oh, they want to know. The only thing I want to hear from Netflix and Will is the sequel to well, Bright. To Bright. That's, that's, the, that's what I want. That's what I want. What's well, they made called? an animated What's it called? Movie, but... I thought it was. What's it called, please? Bright. 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 I've got the pen yeah. out. Just mm-hmm. bright, bright on yep. Netflix. Just bright. They did an animated series, but I mean an animated movie, but really? It, yeah, it was it was okay. Mm, okay. Okay, so let me just get to the crunch now. All right. In turn, you pair. Do you think this should be the ending of Will Smith's career? No, no. no. I, I mean, there's some people out there calling. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I think it's, it's it's tainted his career just a little bit. I think Most it's going to hurt for a couple months, but then mm-hmm. he's going to bounce back. I yeah. I look at it like this. I'm telling you, and, and this is the thing that's going to hurt him. Mm-hmm. This is the era of cancel culture. <laughs> Most definitely. Okay. Mm-hmm. So all it takes is somebody to really feel offended and they run with it. Oh, uh, like for instance, Amy Schumer said she was traumatized. They're by the slap. Her for that. Hmm? She was traumatized by the slap. Yeah, she said she was traumatized by it's it. It's nothing to do with her. What kind of Karen statement she was the is, host. That? What she, is that? She was one. Of, yeah, she was one of the hosts of for that for that night. It was her, Wanda Sykes, and 
Regina, I want to say Regina Hall. Wow. Can I just say one thing for sure? I would have uh -huh. definitely, definitely have loved to have been a fly on the wall when they got home to hear their conversation. Well, like, um, who was, oh, somebody released a statement. Oh, I wish I could remember the name, and I'm sorry for not remembering the name. But somebody who's close to Will and Chris said that they talked after the awards. Clearly, it must have been later in the evening, like late, later in the evening. And they hashed it out, and they're cool now. So, no, I, so I, I mean, know. I wanted to be that a fly. That rumor has been, they said, Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I meant I wanted to be a fly on a wall in the Smith mm -hmm. household when they got home to see what Jada and Will were saying. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, because they were saying that P. Diddy had said that they had talked and reconciled and they were. That's who it was. Him. You're right. Yeah. But it then was puff. Tony Rock, <laughs> which is Chris Rock's younger brother, mm -hmm. who's a comedian, said that yeah. was a lie. Oh wow! Really? Okay. And then, and then P Diddy has come out to say that he never said that. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, now, okay. I, dang. What I did see earlier, because you know we said it on Friday. Literally, mm -hmm. as soon as Will Smith's hand landed and touched skin, there was memes and jokes <laughs> flying all over the place. Oh, right? those memes ain't going nowhere. They're gonna be right now. Listen, decades. I saw one earlier. Oh, Rich has got an ATP yawn out. The I Rick saw James, one earlier. The Rick James, what's name is the classic. I saw one earlier where there's a picture of Will and yeah. Jada's son. Jaden is his name? Jaden, yeah. Dressed in a skirt and a hat with the caption, this is the only person who Will should have been slapping. And see, I hate I hate stuff like that. Because, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not, I don't really, I don't dress feminine. But, like, if dudes want to dress in skirts and dresses, yeah, that's, that's their business. Like, I agree you with you. I agree with you. But you have, it is funny. You know. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny. Oh man. You got to yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm just glad that this is the last segment of the Will Smith slap. <laughs> yes, because there's nothing the Wait, wait, wait. Okay. To say so about it. so no, I no I agree. I'm glad this is the the unofficial last time we're going to be talking about it, but you both know at some point Will is going to have a a statement Chris is going to have a statement and this is going to circle back all over again. You okay, so right? do you think Will do you do you think do you think Will's statement is going to oh. come across the red table? Uh Jada's will. Ooh, ooh yeah, Jada's definitely will. Jada's definitely. Oh, Jada can, that's probably what she's holding out for. The, she's probably biting at the bit just to get to mm -hmm. the red table. But she's just, the that, only person That'll be episode 1. She's the only person who ain't said nothing yet, right? And that's probably what's why she hasn't said anything. She's waiting for to get the film crew for for um what's what they call the grandmother um her mother, Poppy. And um, you know and you know Willow. why and you know why that is because she sees this. Exactly, exactly. She knows. But this has tainted. This has tainted Will Smith a little bit, though. Yeah, definitely. This and is they're waiting, that's and I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, you heard it here first. They're waiting but, to see what the academy is going to do because he resigned from the academy, but that yeah. doesn't mean that the academy is not going to put any disciplinary actions on him. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> I agree with you. I think they're waiting for to see what the academy does. But I was with you about this is going to taint him for a little while. However, is this similar to when Will slapped the reporter? Is this similar? Yep. Because in that, that in that in that instance, well, Will's walking the red carpet and well, the dude, the dude kind of got got a got kind of got close, like he almost yeah. Well, he kiss kissed Will. him. He kissed Will, yeah. Ooh. But that was a like the reporter was French, right? That's like a French yeah. thing or something. What when they yeah. go on both cheeks? Yeah, yeah. but I don't he think he was trying to do that. I think he oh. literally was trying to kiss Will. He went in and with Will tongue. No, it wasn't with tongue, but like Will smacked him hard. Yeah. <laughs> like straight this okay, clip so of it do still you on think, YouTube do you somewhere. Think, do you think that that smack was worthy then? Oh yeah, that was that worthy. One, most definitely. That, that's personal boundaries. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you in my personal space, and yeah. I'm trying to get to where I need to get to, and you mm -hmm. here trying to kiss me all in yeah. the face and stuff. But then looking at it from the, this point of view, people would could say mm -hmm. that Chris Rock's comment was personal <coughs> about the wife. Well, well, that's like, what I was bringing but then up. Then there's, there's speculations that he never knew that she had alopecia. 
I've it, heard that as well, but that's hard for me to believe he didn't know she had. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to put this out there. I know I ain't as famous as them, but I didn't yeah. know she had alopecia. I didn't see that interview. I didn't have, see, and mm -hmm. I'm a social media guru. I'm on there yeah. all day, every day. I yeah. didn't see nothing about no alopecia. So yeah. I'm not saying he did or he didn't know, and I'm not yeah. saying I'm as as big as them to that everybody knows everybody's business I'm just well no why I didn't the, only, the only reason why i feel like he knows and again he might not have known but i feel strongly that he did because those two run in the same circles so it's hard for me to believe particularly with how public she is with her business now mm -hmm. it's very hard for me to believe that he didn't know that she had it but i could be wrong I alopecia and i'm gonna say this again alopecia is not a death sentence uh, but it's still a personal let's just, thing, man. Let's like, just like, say we do empathize with people that have it. We know it's not right. a death sentence, but it, it's not a nice thing. Let's be honest. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a it's a, it's a disease that you know happens. I yeah. follow I follow a young lady on inst I mean, not Instagram on TikTok who has alopecia, mm -hmm. and her TikToks are beautiful. Yeah. Mine, the reason I made all. a comment earlier about Jada's hair follicles is because a girl I used to work with, her daughter has got alopecia mm -hmm. and she has massive bald patches. Like, or you can you could not know that she didn't have it, you know. Yeah. So the fact that <clears throat> Jada's hair follicles are perfect, mm -hmm. number one, the fact that she's shaved her hair off a couple of times, you know, as mm -hmm black women sometimes do when they don't want to weave on or they want to regrow their own hair they shave it all off you know mm -hmm. yeah. so you wouldn't necessarily know that she had alopecia mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, maybe. tomato um, tomato 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 potato potato yeah i was trying to think of something else that rhymed with that but there's not <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask you one final question. If you had to choose, Jay Reese, are you Team Will, Team Chris, or Team Jada? Oh, that's a hard one. That's a hard one. Um, you got time to think, Rich, because you're coming next for the question. Um, I already got wow. my answer. Uh, I think I, I have a feel I'm. I know who Rich is going to say, but yo, um, just call me a fanboy, Team Will. Um, I've loved them since like before he even had his tv show so team all win. right go on rich i think he was wrong with the slap but <laughs> team i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with team nobody because uh, uh, they ain't no they no ain't no you gotta pick one you gotta pick you one gotta you gotta pick, pick one. one i gotta pick one you gotta, you gotta pick, pick one. one okay then i'm gonna stick with team pookie because <laughs> i don't think the I don't think the 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 joke was worthy of a slap like Steve oh, Harvey. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't worthy of a slap. So mm -hmm. therefore, like they said, there's a lot of men sitting in the graveyard because of what their woman put them in situations mm -hmm. like that. So yeah. I'm I'm team I'm team. But Chris this Rock. is the thing. Let's let's take it. I'm away. proud of him because he could have he could have went off on him. Let's take it away from Jada and Will just for a second. You're two men, right? Mm -hmm. And where, That's where, yeah. where do you stand then as regards to what is right and what is wrong when it comes to, in brackets, <clears throat> protecting your woman? Like, if you, if, if, there, if somebody's totally in the wrong, I'm assuming mm -hmm. that you're going to stick up for your wife, what would you do if you were on the fence? Like, you weren't sure, but your wife's obviously going to give you jip. What would you do? What would you well, do? well, my logic is, is that like, I know what's right and wrong. Mm -hmm. However, if I feel like I need to protect my wife, my family, my friends, I'm just going to do it and take the consequences later. It's, it's that simple. Like, it's okay. just, I, I understand like, like slapping Chris in that moment <coughs> is wrong. But if I felt that was my way of protecting my family, mm -hmm. then again, I'll take the consequences later. Okay. You know, so if you, if you reacted and then found out later, actually... It yeah. wasn't deserved. Would you apologize? Most definitely. Like I'm, I'm man enough to say, you know what? I'd have went up, maybe in private, in public, whatever. I'd have been like, Chris, my actions, I was offended. Whatever I felt, blah 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 blah. My bad, dude. Rich, you slapping someone up for disrespecting your wife, even if you don't know if it's the right or not? No, nah, I need to know the facts. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> the way no, you're, you're right. 
I'm just laughing that there's two totally yeah. different answers here. Jay Reese is being, like, yes, I'm, I'm licking him serious. out. I'm being dead serious. First of all, mm -hmm. I, I want to be with a strong woman who can handle herself. Yeah hand her her own joke you dig what i'm saying like if mm -hmm. i i'd rather jada says something like yeah. stand up and be like that's why you got a small wee wee or something mm -hmm. like that or yeah you know what i mean mm -hmm. then if he would came at her then i'd have been like yo man now you don't gone too far you know mm -hmm. but i gotta find out the facts these days because you yeah. know these days I, I, I guys think... ain't fighting fair as I think you see. just totally nailed it on right. the head there, Rich. Mm -hmm. She's a strong, independent woman. So therefore, first port of call should have been her to say something. If she felt that disrespected about what he said, she should have said something. If he then carried it on, at that point, the husband stick in and be like, yo, come on, man. So wait a minute, hold up. That was not how the question was framed. The question was framed in a situation <laughs> where we protect our wives. That's how the question, okay. I feel and set Rich is, up. Rich is, uh, Rich is, uh, Rich is answer I was I feel set up. Richie's answer was he ain't doing nothing till he's got the facts. So whoever is going to marry Rich has got to be oh. a strong independent woman because he is not sticking up for you. You on your own fight until you end up on your ass. And hey, apparently, look, I'm just I apparently need, I'm sticking up for every lady, no matter what. Right, mm -hmm. we, got, we got chivalry still here in the building. <laughs> mm. The way this world is now, you liable to oh, break something man. up. You liable to break something up and be the first one in the grave. Literally, right? oh, there man. are there are some women that can pack a bit of punch in a man. Up. I ain't gonna lie. Oh yeah, most def, most definitely. But I would like to know mm -hmm. what Will would have done it if it was a woman. Like comedian, mm. he would have done the same. He would have laughed it off because Regina Hall said something about their open marriage. Mm -hmm. He laughed that off. Well, no. If if it was a different comedian instead of Chris that said the same joke, mm. right? <coughs> would do you feel Will would have d done something similar? I don't think he would have. Well, I mean, no. he might have, but <laughs> no, he wouldn't have went up there and smacked him. Uh, they just they just had a. Um, a thing with Kevin Hart and Kevin Hart said, we both from Philly. That's my boy. Yeah. He says, I would have to get on the phone with both of them and find out what really happened. And mm -hmm. they was like, well, would you let, would you let uh, Wilson smack? Hell no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Big, but let's be everybody's honest. Everybody's like, anybody, anybody that no. you are, if you ask anybody, would you have let Will Smith slap you? Obviously everyone's going to say no. Who's going to say, yes, I'll stand there and let him slap me in the face while I do Fat that. Joe said it. Well, the thing, well, the thing is, like, so, like, I said, I'd have took it on the chin because of the money that was in the room. Well, and and that's the thing, like, so, like, I've been in hosting situations where I've DJed and literally like done in scene, MCing before, and sometimes crazy things just happen, and you got to keep the show going regardless of what happens. So, what I do, I want to take a, a hit on the chin or a slap in the face? No, but when it comes about my money, well, you know, I might have to just take it and be like, yo, do like Chris said, yo. Best night ever. So, you know. Okay, and that's fair to say. You, everyone's got to say hats off to him. He still carried yeah. on with the job and still carried on with the night. That's why I'm team Chris, yeah. All right. So I'm not team. I'm not team Chris because he created Pootie Tang. I'm not cream to Chris. I can't. I can never forget I that. I think Pootie Sorry. Tang was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Tip now, tay, my Saudi day. Oh, <laughs> we, have, we have said that that is the last we're going to speak of the slap. Mm. I'm mm. telling you. At any point, Jada, Will, or Chris, whenever they bring yeah. out their statement, it's coming. there's going to be coming. a part three. There's going to be a part three, I'm telling well, you. <laughs> I, would, I, am, I am so curious on what the Academy is going to do now that he resigned from the Academy. Yeah, I don't know what the Creative Academy is going to do, but I can tell you this. Will, like we said, Jada is not going to say anything until it's time to do Red Table Talk. That's where she's going to give her statement. Um, Chris and Will... That's debatable, but I have a feeling both of them are going to go to social media. Or Chris is just going to say it. Chris is going to say it in the comedy club. Will is probably going to go well, social Chris media. Chris said once he once he processes it, it's yeah. going to. Be, he says it's it's going to be serious, but then he's going to have some jokes. Oh well, yeah, most definitely. Say, most he's definitely. Got, he's got some material there for some mm -hmm. time to come. Do you know what I mean? Right. In fact, definitely. I even made a TikTok the other day and made a joke about it. There, there's a guy that says uh -oh. like, his hair starts 
all the way like back here and he says mm-hmm. this is before and then he's had a haircut and says and this is after now literally it looks like zero hair's been cut so i literally uh-huh. cut the video and i was like yo whatever you do don't say anything about his hair because will smith's gonna come and slap you that's all i know <laughs> that's all you need to say people are gonna be having jokes about this for time oh yeah Oh yeah, like what is it? What's the one joke? Um, I'm gonna leave some fresh prints on your face. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, cold blooded. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a good serious Sunday. It wasn't as serious, you know. We had a little ish. I will just say again, mental health, especially men's mental health, is not Absolutely. something to be joked about, man. Absolutely. Not something mm, to be joked mm. about. It's a very serious matter, mm. but. I'm not saying that there ain't going to be a part three when the statements come out. <laughs> oh, They're yeah. Coming. They're coming. They're coming. Because it will be. Mm-hmm. Exactly. We, no one's heard <laughs> from Jada. Yep. Will's just doing a lot of, his PR people are doing a lot of cleanup. Yeah, right but now. technically we haven't heard from Will officially. I mean, again, like his publicists have said stuff, but Will hasn't come out. Well, so. he said that, he said that half witted apology. Uh, we don't count that. Academy. We don't count that. Yeah, we're okay. not talking about the speech. I'm talking about yeah. the Instagram. Yeah. I want to know one final question before Rich starts our ending because we're going to have to include mm-hmm. Jay Reese in the ending now he's here. Jay Reese, how okay. do you feel about A, being the first guest on our Friday show and B, being invited back the next the next episode? I'm the champion of the world, baby. How I'm you doing? Top of the world. Love top of the world. Adrian. I feel I, I feel like I feel like Drake started from the bottom. Now I'm here. Yeah. What's up, people? Can I just say I don't I don't yeah. mean this is a, a you know don't take don't take it too like it's not offensive. But I'm loving your hair, by the way. Why would I take that offensively? Well, you know, because I'm I'm saying something about the hair. I don't want to slap. You know, I mean, you got beads yeah, you got going this. up in there and everything, oh. man. Look at it. Yo, yeah, so man. so my daughter hooked my, my daughter hooked me up. She she twisted. We ordered these off of Amazon. I was trying to do something with the different with the locks. Still kind of playing with it. They're not as long as I want yet, but they get there. You'll get there. We are yeah. feeling it, right, Rich? How do we end the show? This is self. This is Rich, and this is Jay Reese. <laughs> Thanks y'all for is, having me on. Yeah, and this is from across, across the pond. The pond. <laughs> Rich, I'm going to see you Wednesday for our meeting. Jay Reese, we're going to chop it up. We'll arrange to have our April monthly meeting and we're going to see everyone else back on Friday for some fun, fun Friday. Have a fabulous week, you two. Yeah, definitely. You two, y'all. Yeah, per. See you later. Laters. Laters.